Hey guys, Zero here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I like to air fry chicken. Now air frying is something a little bit new for me, but I've got the savory butcher chicken breast. And I'm just going to do a little crispy mix on those. I've got some potatoes going in the back. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. Simple, easy with the Ninja Air Fryer. You might have a different type at home, but this is how I do it. I've got two breasts here. One's a little bit smaller than the other one. I got these from Savory Butcher. You can actually get your own at the link below this video. And I'm just going to take and I'm going to cut this one in half because these are pretty thick breasts and that'll give me three different sizes because we've got three different people eating. We've got a gal who doesn't like a lot. I'm not interested in eating a bunch and the guy with the camera wants to eat a heck of a lot. So I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. I start by throwing these in a bag with flour. I'm just going to get a little flour coating on it. You notice that I didn't season the flour. I've got my seasonings out here out front and there's a reason for that. I find that when you're flouring these things up, you don't actually get all the seasoning on the chicken. So I wanna season them after the fact. So I got a good coating of flour on that one. This was a little bit thicker. I'm gonna throw a little more right down in here, right down in the crease. And I got some flour on this one. As always, if you aren't making a mess, it's not good. So we're going to take some pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to salt over this. I'm going to use some coarse black pepper. Put that on top of there. Then I'm just going to add a little dash of paprika. There's nothing too fancy about what I'm doing. But you notice that I did it after I did my flour dredge. I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to do, it one, do the same thing on the other side. Salt. A little bit of pepper and we're gonna throw some paprika on here and now I'm gonna run them into an egg wash so I'm gonna start with just one egg and put that in there I'm not gonna do milk or anything crazy like that I kind of want to add some fun flavor to this as I'm going so I'm gonna add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard to my egg and that's just the stone ground mustard I'm going to put one and two right in there. And then we're going to whisk this up. And that's what my chicken's going into, you guys. Just creating a really savory dredge for this chicken. Just like that, I've got my stone ground mustard and an egg. I'm going to take this first piece, go in, go in, just like that. And then we're going to go right into panko. And we're going to get this guy all crusted up nice with panko. Isn't that beautiful? You can really smell the Dijon coming off. I'm going to go right back in here into the Dijon and egg. Make sure I get it on all parts of my chicken breast here because I want that coating to stick to it. And I'm throwing it in an air fryer. So we're going to have some fancy dancy chicken breasts here in just a little bit all right so i've got my chicken breaded i'm ready to go into the air fryer but not before i actually spray a little bit of non-stick coating in there i don't want these to touch so my goal when i put them in that basket is to get them arranged to where they're hopefully not touching each other but i'm going to throw just a little more of this pink sea salt on there then i'm going to grab just some normal old cooking spray i've got my I've got my air fryer preheating at 375 degrees so that it's not gonna take a buildup. And I'm gonna actually go and I'm gonna cook these for 13 minutes. At about the six minute mark, I am going to turn them over. So I'm gonna run these for about six minutes straight and then I'm going to turn them over and we'll kind of watch together. Thirteen minutes set and I'll see you here in just a bit all right so you see I cleaned up a little bit but that doesn't mean it's gonna taste any worse but I want to take a peek at this because we passed that six minute mark and I'm looking at this Wow it's even crisp in the top that is crispy okay we'll just take Wow you can hear it crisping around as I'm moving it so I'm just gonna turn this one over and 
I might have too many breasts in here, but you know what? It still looks good. Wow. The smell coming off that's really good too. Well, let's run it for another six minutes and see how it goes. Behind me, I've got some red potatoes, garlic and onions, Walla Walla sweets, of course, cooking down. And now, right now, I am taking some fresh broccoli, steaming that up, and I've added truffle oil into the water, so it's gonna pick that up and run that white truffle oil up through the, the broccoli. I think we're gonna have a good little lunch here. I'll see you here shortly. Okay, welcome back. We have got chicken, and look at this. It is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna pull these out. <laughs> it just it just sounds crispy. Put these out right here, these little beauties out here to rest. You saw how simple and easy that was. It was only 13 minutes in there. Set these out on the cutting board. Boy, they just they just feel good. Look at that. Wow. All right, let's take and cut into one of these beauties. Beautifully cooked all the way through. Oh, the breading's coming off just a little bit. But, you know me, if it's in my kitchen, I'm gonna be eating it. Wow. <laughs> That's seriously good. I like this little bad boy. Mmm. 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 Well, <clears throat> it's lunchtime here in my kitchen. Over here I've got some broccoli that I did with white truffle oil and I got a red potato hash right there. But look, make sure you like and subscribe down below. This is simple. Look for the recipe also down below. Click that. We'd be happy to send it to you and I'll see you next time right here on Rose Kitchen. Thanks for watching.